Here's 12 tips to have a more pleasant dock mode experience using your ROG Ally or any other PC handle that you currently own. Damn, that never gets old. I made this channel cause I was just a little bored. Please subscribe, there's a whole world that we can all explore. We're all born mind to think alive. We're all born mind to think alive. Coming in hot is number one. The first essential tip is to go to display settings, identify both displays, click the display that you want to output. Uh, in this case, we're going to output it to number two. That's my TV. You can see that the big rectangle is the TV. And then the smaller one is the ROG Ally. And immediately after that, my second tip is to adjust the resolution and refresh rate to match your TV's native resolution and optimal refresh rate to avoid screen tearing and lag. Third tip, connect the mouse and the controller. Trust me, you won't need a keyboard in this docked experience that we're curating today because of another tip coming up. Here's me plugging both receivers. And that nicely leads to number four. Use a quality dock. Choose a high quality dock that supports USB-C power delivery, charging, video out, and the ample amount of accessory ports that you need. Third-party docks like from JSOX shown in this video is a great dock because it has a killer feature which is VRR output, which not a lot of third-party docks have. Oh, by the way, I have an in-depth review of this dock from a previous video. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. Much appreciated. So just choose a dock that you're comfortable with. I highly recommend this one though. This is from JSOX again. Moving on, number five, set a shortcut to open the command center. This is specifically for ROG Ally users. Here I set up one of the buttons on my mouse to open command center. And if you don't know, command center is packed with functionality. So here I'm just doing some key binding from the Glory Score software. In this example, we're gonna set the upper mouse button on the left side to uh, choose modifier. We're gonna choose shift and then N just for demonstration purposes. And then we save. Simultaneously, we have to go to Armory Crate and set a keyboard shortcut as well to correspond to the key binding we just set on the Glory software. It's easy enough, and trust me, it's a small thing, but it makes a huge difference. This will essentially allow you to not use a keyboard anymore. Number 6 tip Use G Helper to set a battery charge limit. What is a battery charge limit? You know how lithium ion batteries degrade over time, right? It's not something infinite. There are cycles to these batteries and it is our best interest to preserve them. And one way to preserve them is to limit the battery charge to 80% of the capacity of your battery. Yes, in handheld mode, you would get less playtime, but if you're gonna be docking it for extended periods of time, it is wise to set a battery charge limit. We control the heat inside the system and we preserve the battery health. And as you can see in this program, you can also check the battery health with just one click. As you see here, uh, there's also an option to charge it one time up to 100% if you plan to take your ROG Ally off the dock. Number seven, switch the game profile to turbo mode that goes hand in hand with the battery charge limit. In G Helper, by the way, you can set the fan curve for each profile. You can set the wattage that you need uh, for example, here on turbo mode, I want to just limit it to 25 watts. 25 watts is good for me. I don't really play newer games anyways, and it's easy to change it as well. So don't worry about it. You can mess around with this and, and just hit apply and then you're good to go. G Helper is a must have, especially using it on dock mode. TLDR, you can mess around the power limits and the wattages for each profile. Number eight, enable game mode and free sync slash G sync on your TV. In my case, I have FreeSync already enabled on HDMI 4, and the HDMI that I'm using is 2.1, meaning I can output up to 4K 120Hz with VRR. Moving on, number 9, organize your games into Armory Crate or Steam Big Picture Mode, whichever one you prefer. Me personally, I like to jump around between these two. Basically, I'm using these console-style launchers to keep my uh, gaming library tidy and accessible from the couch or the bed, or whatever. I think we're all familiar with the big picture mode UI, and using a controller really seals the deal in making this a console-like experience. Really seals in the flavor. While we're here again, number 10. Wow, that rhymed. Enable auto launch from your game launcher. In big picture mode, just click on run Steam when my computer starts, and start Steam in big picture mode. If you want big picture mode to start immediately when you, when you boot up Windows. Similarly, on Armory Crate, go to Settings, About, and click on Armory Crate SE Launch automatically if you want the same thing. Number 11. 
You can disable the lock screen, which is optional. You have to mess around with the registry and input some commands, uh, disable some stuff, but it's fine for me to walk up to the ROG Alley and just use my fingerprint. And number 12, the final tip is to add a cool wallpaper. Make this look more appealing using uh, apps like Wallpaper Engine. Just download any wallpaper that you want. I really like the look of this rainy dashboard, car dashboard thing. I also found this cool animated wallpaper of Hollow Knight Silk Song. So those are all my tips to make your dock mode experience a little bit better. I know docking these things can be daunting. It's not as easy as a Nintendo Switch. You have to customize it, you know, just like any other PC. We're not trying to make it perfect. We're just trying to make it frictionless. Because gaming at the end of the day is the priority here. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out the doc, I'll leave a link down below. I've also made an in-depth review. If you want to check it out as well, please leave a like. I appreciate it so much. And please subscribe if this video helped you. Alright, that's it. Goodbye!